So as President Obama continues to charm the diapers off foreign dignitaries, he still cannot resist taking jabs at America. Or more specifically, that horrible America that existed before he rose to power on a magical thunderbolt. According to the Messiah, quote, there have been times where America has shown arrogance and been dismissive, even derisive, as well as revealing, quote, a failure to appreciate Europe's leading role in the world. While hearing this, it dawned on me who Obama really is. He's mom's new boyfriend. Trying to win over the offspring with ice cream and Happy Meals while not so subtly trashing the biological daddy. That poor doe paying all the bills and currently living in a shed off the freeway. If you ask me, it's kind of gross. And I'm saying this knowing that Obama sincerely wants to smooth over ruffled feathers. But enough already. At a certain point, you have to stop throwing your country under the double-decker bus. That's British. In an effort to get people to like you. It's like the American tourist in a British pub who constantly tells everyone he didn't vote for Bush. The more you apologize, the wussier you look. So enough, the U.S. leads the world, not Europe. And the fact is, we do more good on this planet than the rest of these countries combined. And while I know Obama won't say that right now, he better soon, or the world will have him for breakfast. If they have breakfast, they have breakfast, right? And if you disagree with me, then you, sir, are worse than Hitler. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Pinch, I bet you love the fact that Obama apologizes for the last eight years, don't you? Well, you know, Greg, they say it takes a big man to apologize. <laughs> and you are the opposite of that and prove it nightly. <laughs> Although it could just be the camera angle. <laughs> I am so effing pithy. <laughs> you are pithy. Hey, to hey Tom. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Sorry. Um, Tom, Obama, it, you know, he is a departure from Bush, so he's right to make that clear. But isn't he going too far? Aren't there some things you keep in the family? Well, that's the thing, is now he's the president of the United States, so before he could kind of talk down yes. the United States. Yes. But he just wants people to like him. Right. That's yeah. the problem. I just say something. It's about being transparent. I think that his whole campaign was about transparency and being real. Mm -hmm. And the fact is he's tackling the issues that are actually but going on. And, and I think he'd be criticized either way if he went the other route and was like, no, this isn't going on, and la-di-da. But, but sure, but sure he, he's making the point that it's no longer a campaign. It's a yeah. presidency. I, it's I, mean, I have him. to say, to illustrate this point yeah. on transparency, you should probably wear something see-through. Mm -hmm. Just <laughs> Thank you for, for lowering this great debate. Uh, hey, Alan, or raise it. Alan, Alan, let me bring you in the, in, into this. Is there anything you should be apologizing for right now pertaining to America? Oh, absolutely not. And I got to say, I do agree with the president. Uh, Europe does lead the world in techno, dance, music, and anti-Semitism. <laughs> you know, it's great when those two things are combined. When you oh do God, the techno dude. dancing and you uh, harass the Jews. <laughs> Can't get anything better than that, I think. Uh, Greg, it doesn't get any better than techno dancing and harassing the Jews. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's all budzing. I asked you to clarify. You clarified by saying, "Yeah." Well, and last night, last night Andy went clubbing and he fell victim to this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he fell victim to me. Yeah, I know. Well, I was dancing right we, up to him. We both, be saying we both went to we both went to some techno club, mm -hmm. and uh, I saw him there, and I, I remembered anti-Semitism in techno. <laughs> Did you guys do the robot? No, we didn't. No. Mm. Yeah. That's unfortunate. They did the yeah. Jew hating robot is what they did. Uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts overall on the summit? On the summit? Well, I just think it's good that Obama's finally getting out there as a president representing America mm -hmm. and connecting with the rest of the world because, yes, unfortunately, maybe our other president wasn't as, con you know, a t he wasn't yeah. trying to Couldn't be as attentive. Oh, please. Yeah. Fat, he's gone. He's left. He's, he's, he's out the door. Time, listen, it's time for action. Enough about the saying what we're going to do and what's possible. It's time for action. All right. Hey, Tom, you know, Obama told the French audience that he's, he's setting a goal, a goal of a world without nuclear weapons. And I believe he's going to replace them with these. <laughs> there. Do you think? Do you think this is wise? That's awesome. <laughs> what, the air punchers. Or yeah, that yes. is the air punchers. Yeah. 
Uh, Tom, that picture was not of air punchers. They're called sock and boppers. Sock and boppers? Yeah. Mm. I had them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Who didn't? Mm. Yeah, I still have did. mine. Yeah. Some, you tell, sometimes, you, maybe after the show, you can come by and we can play. <laughs> they could be floaties, too. Yeah, they can't be floaties. Greg's sock and boppers are ribbed. Don't ask why. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> but isn't it kind of naive to expect the world to agree we don't need nuclear weapons? Obviously, we've been through that. Yes. I mean, when I was in junior high, when they said, oh, we're going to, the nuclear freeze, that's yes. what I had, the freeze movement, <laughs> yes. we're going to freeze them. Uh, he still wants to do that. Nuclear yes. weapons got us this far, let's yeah. stick with them. Well, the, yeah, the thing is, it, it, it's peace through strength, it's what Jack Kemp always said. And also, I mean, I, it, it reveals Obama doesn't understand Good and evil. He's a deconstructionist. Everything's relative. Like Yoko so you know, saying, "Oh, just peace, goodness," yeah. and you're like, because "Okay, tell that to people who are like living in violence every day." But he, the thing about Obama is, he believes you can re reason with everybody. Yes. And you can't reason. You have to kill sometimes. Well, and that is a really reasonable thing to say. <laughs> it is. Yes. It is. Uh, this must make you the idea of capitalism Spit going. Spit it away. up, Greg. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. But you just must be cheering from the rafters. <laughs> well, um, we don't really have rafters at the new offices. There's very swank, though, I have to say that. Ooh, Shira. <laughs> you halloo. Don't distract me, woman. Uh, listen, I was discussing this very matter with one Sean Penn at the Four Seasons. Really? <laughs> Unfortunately, the entire convo was off the record. But I can tell you this. The yeah. meal ended up being on me. Literally. He vomited all over the table. <laughs> I had no I'm idea. I'm still covered in blog <laughs> uh, So that's Not the... so much a friend anymore. He's quite the drunk. I uh, hear. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Pinch. Shira, you keep stroking Pinch the way you were doing you're going to end up with ink on your hand. Mm. Just be, be aware. <laughs> be aware. But ink is, you know, it makes your hand mm -hmm. different. Ink. Yes, it, it does. It makes it I said it before, I'll say it again. Ink don't stink. <laughs> ink don't stink. He's <laughs> That's, you know, Obama, they're getting a Chia, Chia Obama here. Yeah, it was, in, it was in Walgreens. It's called the Chia Obama. It's, yeah. it's like a plant. It's like a, a molding of his head. Yeah, with, with the grass growing, I guess. Uh, and it, the grass is, is on the top of his head, and yeah, yeah and and uh, what do you, do you do? Are people upset about this? Well, I, well, I, I think it's funny. But, well, first of all, I was thinking about Bush. They had a, a roll of toilet paper with his face on it, and they yeah. didn't say anything about that. That's true. That's true. That's because they, everybody, you know, they don't care. You, you can make fun of Bush all you want. Yeah. You can't make fun of Obama because the media loves Obama. And I, th I thought red eye was uncomfortable TV.